Hello and welcome to lesson 10. You see, I told you somewhere within the lesson that um, the problem that is plaguing mankind came from the devil. The devil is the author of the problem of mankind. Mankind was created with a problem and was put in the Garden of Eden to keep it and to dress it. So man was given the responsibility and given charge to be in control of the earth. But because of the disobedience of man through the suggestion of the devil, man lost that authority, he lost that position, and the devil gained it. So the devil became the god of this world. And that is why God cannot do anything for a man except that man prays. God will do anything for you when you pray. But when you don't pray, you see, because the devil is the god of this world, and it may shock you, but this is the truth, the devil is the one ruling the world. And because he rules the world, if you do not pray, you cannot get a go ahead. Your problem may not go away until you learn how to pray. And in the last lesson, I talked about fasting, which is very, very important. I'm still talking about prayer, but this time around, I'm talking about worship. So the topic or the title of this lesson 10 is worship. When you pray and you fast and your problem remains, you need to learn the art of worship. Worship is thanking God for who he is. Worship is appreciating God for the fact that God is God. Worship is different from praising. Praising is thanking him for what he has done for you. But you see, worship is thanking him whether he did it or he did not do it. You see, it is easy for anybody to praise God when they had one million dollars. When somebody gives you $500,000, you're going to be happy. You're going to praise God and say, oh God, thank you. But can you thank him? Can you worship him? Can you appreciate him when your problem has not gone away? This is what God wants you to do. God wants you to worship him in, in spite of your problem. You are going through the difficulties, yet you are still praising him like David. In, you see, David in the book of Psalm 23, he said, even though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I know my God is with me. You need to learn to worship God. Let me give you some examples. Paul and Silas, they were doing the right things. They were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, you see. And in the process of doing the good thing, they were arrested and put in prison. Instead of complaining and saying, God, what have you done to us? We are helping you. We are doing your work. We are preaching your word. And yet you have allowed us to allow them to catch us. No, that was complaining. They did not complain. They did not do that. What did they do? They began to worship. They began to praise God. The Bible says they prayed and they worshiped. And all the prisoners had them doing it. As they were doing it, the prison doors got open. The stock with which they were held got loose. The handcuff with which they were held, you know, was loosed and they became free. Why? Because they worshiped God. In the book, you can see that in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, from verse 16. Also in the Old Testament, there's a man, a king of Judah called Jehoshaphat. You see, he had a battle. The king of Assyria had written a letter to him that I'm going to I'm coming to destroy you, your land, and take over your land. But Jehoshaphat went to pray to God, and when they started to go to the battle, they began to sing. The choir, that is the singers, were in the front of the army. The singers were singing, the army was following. They were just singing to praise God. They were singing the praise of God. As they began to sing, the, the, all the army that came to fight them began to fight each other until they all killed each other and they all died. When you worship God in spite of your problem, when you worship God in spite of your situation, God intervenes. He comes on the scene. He brings a solution. You see, your problem dissolves. This is a powerful spiritual formula. The formula of worship never fails. When you worship God, your problem cannot remain. Problem cannot stay in the atmosphere of worship because the problem came from the devil. And the devil hates worship. Immediately you begin to worship God, the devil will take his problem out of your life and run away. Try worship, you will see wonders. Try worship, you will see the problem dissolve. Try to worship God, even tonight. You worship God right from now, you will see wonders. You will see miracle. You will see the hand of God. You will see miracle. 
I can assure you. This is a guaranteed, you know, point. There is no doubt about it. It is well with you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you in lesson 11.